How was the weight cut with the Wonder Boy? Because I know you struggled with that. We actually watched the weight cut video before you came in, and it, that looked brutal. Listen, as if you nearly killed yourself to cut weight. I know you've had Tony Bell you on and that, and he's a, he used to be an extreme weight. Because mm -hmm. there ain't a man alive who used to cut weight like me, who, who had the mentality for it. I used to be an extreme, unhealthy weight. Like it was, it was damaging. Do you enjoy that? Yeah, I used not not the not the last weight cuts that I had for it. Masvidal and Wonderboy like me Woodley wake up was fine but not fine at this I, listen look at the size of me I, I like I was making 77 kilos like I and I was extreme weight cutting it was like 40 kilos 30 kilos cutting it but then like the night before weigh-ins cutting like 10 kilos I, I, I to be honest I was in the business of being like, the best weight cutter and I did enjoy it but my last weight cut to 170 was against Masvidal and I remember going blind a few hours before weighing. I remember I'd cut, we got to the hotel and it was the night before weigh-ins and I remember I'd done my usual, I do like a 50 minute run uh, with four layers of clothing on with all my sweet sweats, you know, like the, 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 the gels and that. Lost weight, went and hit pads and, and I was still so far off and Colin was just like, what the fuck are we going to do? And I was like, put me back on the treadmill, I'm going to run again. He's like, and Colin is so brutal, but even Colin was like, nah, you can't. I was like, get me back on that treadmill now. Went back on the treadmill, and at this point, I was just on the treadmill, and the screen was like, just fuzzing, and I was going, wow. And I was just toddling along, and then I was hitting me pads, still had weight to go. And I was like, right, Col, Col, just let me go and sleep for a few hours and I'll carry on. He was like, Darren, I can't, no. I said, Col, just trust in me, please, I know what I'm doing. He's like, Darren, Darren. Went to sleep, woke up. All right, I went on another run. And at this point, I was just like, literally, I couldn't even move. My body was shutting down and I was just going blind. And then I'd, I'd, I'd had like, I had like 0.4 grams to go, which sounds nothing, but it's a lot at that point. Your body's not giving nothing more. I'd done my saunas and everything. And then Colin went to sleep. And I was in the room with my friend uh, at the time and he was sleeping. And I don't know if he heard me wake up or not, but I, I got up, put my clothes on and I thought, right, if I walk the Asda, I'll lose that weight. So I started walking the Asda and I just had to sit on like a bench and I just, I was blind. And I had to like grab my phone, half like dial it. And I was like, Col, I'm blind here, I can't move. Col come running along, uh, Col and John come running along and they were like, they had to like hear on me back to the hotel. They were like, and I was just like, wow. And then when I was going to weigh in, he was like, Darren, look strong. And I was like that on the scales. Just like, wow. And, you know, I can give the excuses that, uh, oh, I got beat because of the weight cut. I got beat by the better man on the night. I'm a better fighter than the three guys I've lost to. This is what I tell you. If I didn't believe that, I'd probably half quit now. I know I'm better than the three people that have beat me. I know that for a fact, but to do a weight cut like that 24 hours before you're fighting the best people in the world is just like mentally How insane. How much stress is that on your team as well, knowing that you're, it's, it's close every time? A lot of it must stress. Must be difficult. On, a lot of stress on Colin, my teammates, uh, even a lot of stress on the UFC. They're putting these events on, main events, like I've sold out the Echo, Madison Square Garden, I've sold out the O2 Arena, and I've sold them up the quickest. Like, and we're talking combat sports. Like, think about that if that fight doesn't go ahead because I've collapsed through extreme weight cutting. Like, I used to do the most brutal weight cuts, but again, only myself to blame because 10 weeks before that, I'm fucking sat there. Cheeseburgers. Uh, watching Narcos Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So, we, we've had this conversation. I'm not going to sit here and blame anyone. And I, I am, I'm going to take all my losses in life and I'm going to put them all onto me. Uh -huh. My last loss, I mean, my last fight, fucking, I'm happy, but I'm sad. I, I should have just fucking went for it, and I, I know I'd have got him out of there, but, you know, uh, everything that's happened inside the cage and outside, these losses are all down to me. They ain't down to no one else. That's how I think, that's how I like to look at it. It makes me stronger knowing that I nearly miss weight because of me. Not because Colin was shoving cheeseburgers in my face, because I, 10 weeks before the fight, was eating how I shouldn't have ate. Now, don't get me wrong, at middleweight now, I, I can, I'm comfortable, I can eat what I want. You know, I, I'm not the strictest on my diet, but at welterweight, 
for me to stay at welterweight would have been 365 days a year probably just eating leaves because I was just too big for the weight. 